You can go all over America and you see clumps of trees, thickets of trees any, everywhere. Only at Gettysburg will you see a copse of trees. John Batchelder is one of the first, he's actually the first real historian on this battlefield. Batchelder had met with Walter Harrison of George Pickett's staff, and Harrison will tell Batchelder that clump of trees, that thicket of trees on Cemetery Ridge, that was the aiming point of Pickett's division. At the same time, all the reports referred to the trees as a thicket of trees or a clump of trees. That's not really a glamorous phrase, so he looks in the dictionary, finds an obscure English word, cops. And so that becomes the Cops of Trees on Cemetery Ridge. By the 1880s, Basil Biggs owned 78 acres worth of property in this area. Bat shoulders here and he sees Biggs chopping down the trees. And he says, what are you doing? Biggs says, I need these trees for fence rails. And they belong to Biggs, he owns the property. And Bat shoulders trying to convince him not to chop down the trees, not having any luck. Finally he says, someday these trees are gonna be worth to you a lot more than they will as fence rails. And that makes Big stop chopping down the trees. And eventually he will sell the copse of trees, the seven acres around it, for about $1,325. That'll be about $39,000 today.